I'm going to talk about expectations. The whole thing on this is very tricky. People say that when you start something, you can't have expectations of success. To an extent, this is true, but really, you can't wipe away expectations with a baby wipe, okay? When you start a project, you just can't help but have expectations of success overnight. But what you need to do is have a game plan of what to do when it doesn't go the way you want it to go. You go on a video, you post it on TikTok, YouTube, Insta, whatever, and you see low views. What should be your reaction? At first, you're going to be disappointed. Realize that you're not in control of the views, but you're in control of what you do next after that disappointment. Even if you start a YouTube channel and you have the best editing, the best lighting, mic quality, everything, you're still not going to get a lot of views. Remind yourself, this is all about strategy and starting a routine of making content that is going to get you far. Instead of giving your all into this one video or picture, posting it, 10 views, then you feel like you'll never get far in life and evicting a rabbit to live the rest of your life in that hole. What you need to do is tell yourself that nothing is sacred, everything is practice. I would get a journal or art book and be so afraid of ruining it with a shitty ass drawing or writing. If you treat your videos like it's practice and not sacred, you'll get shit done quickly and actually get it done because you're not terrified of ruining it. But before you do all this, you need to have a good routine. Recommending the sticky note method. Break down what you need to do in the morning before bed. Put it somewhere obvious. Cross them out as you do the tasks. It gives you a dopamine hit. A dopamine hit every single time, making you want to do more. Everyone wants to feel acknowledged when they do something. This is really healthy because you acknowledge yourself. Challenge. Do all these without sitting down. People who are low in motivation lack strategy. You imagine a project or something you want to do as this monstrous obstacle, like you have to do something drastic in order to do something. Imagine this obstacle as a David and Goliath situation. Goliath is a big boulder of a guy and it seems impossible to take him down. These people with King Saul doubting David that he'll do it. What do you know? A tiny stone will take the bastard out. Those people doubting is your ego thinking it's impossible. David is your spirit strategizing to do it with small tasks. The small rock make what you want to do to completion. It's like the saying, the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak. Your spirit is your inner you, your purpose. The flesh is your ego. Think about it in that way. I want to thank Mr. Test because uh, unfinished projects are a pain in the ass. I want to tell you, I can and will get better. I love you, my Jabberwockies. Bye-bye.